Yes, we are very sorry for that uh, small technical hitch right there. But we are back, as I said, with the main man himself, Ian, who is a content creator and he has an interest in the motorsport industry in this country right now. He's here to share his story with us and how he got to this point that he is. Karibu sana, Mr. Ian, for the second time. <laughs> All right, so uh, just introduce yourself another time, just in case somebody's joining us right now. Okay, um, my name is Ian Kiyama. Uh, some of you know me as Ian Ashi, mm -hmm. and I'm a content creator, a YouTuber, and I mostly talk about the motorcycling industry that's there. Mm -hmm. So yeah, mostly I do, I, I talk about the events, I vlog about the events that are there, the mm -hmm. motorcycle races, uh -huh. yeah, especially with the super bikes there. Uh -huh. Yeah, but I'm also planning this year to uh, delve into uh, knowing about, more about the riders that are in Kenya. Uh -huh. Yes. All right. So there's a there's a whole community of bikers. Yes. Uh, can we find them on Facebook or on social media? Uh, definitely, they uh -huh. are there. I, I think it's just that um, probably not many people know about them. Uh -huh. It's it's quite big. Uh, just the other day on Sunday, mm -hmm. um, there were there was a group of riders who uh, who did a ride from. Uh, Nairobi, mm -hmm. all the way to Namanga, the mm -hmm. Namanga Tanzanian border, uh -huh. and there are quite many. I, I bet those guys who are following a uh, number of riders, they, they they have seen they have seen the videos that are there. All right, yeah, from did super you, bikes. Yeah, w did you were you part of this movement? Did you manage to to get uh, some documentation or some footage? I uh, actually uh -huh. no, uh, I I, I was unable to, but uh, yeah simply because I, I do not ride myself. You don't ride yourself. Yes. But you're just interested in this. Yes. And uh, every industry needs uh, the person who's going to talk about them, the person who's going to put them out there. It needs the riders themselves. So it's, uh, you need to coexist in the industry as much. Yes. All right, but do you know how to ride a bike yourself? Yeah, uh, yeah, I actually know how to ride. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's just that, um, well, it, it, it's, it's quite an um, investment to own a bike uh -huh. and, the, and the gear and uh, actually also the, um, the, the, the maintenance of the uh -huh. motorcycles. Yeah, so uh, because I'm actually a student, uh -huh. so of course um, uh, I've not yet started working to get oh, myself all right. a so bike. So the vision is to own a bike someday. Exactly. As you create this content uh, around the bikers. Mm -hmm. All right, so when did you first get interested in this? Um, at first, um, I, I was so interested in the bikes. You know, I've mm -hmm. seen seeing the pictures, the music videos uh -huh. um, with the motorcycles. Yeah, um, I didn't get the chance to actually interact with some of the riders mm -hmm. um, or even getting close to a bike mm -hmm. when I was younger until like, I, I was done with high school. Mm -hmm. And uh, a friend of mine uh, has a cousin who also rides. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Edu the Chef. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, uh, a friend of mine called Nyota uh, took me to an event uh, in, that's actually in Kenya. It was a, rest uh, it's a, it was a road race in uh, Ruiru, those who know Exit 12. Uh, yeah. So uh, from there I knew, yeah, finally I am close to bikes and I, I think mm -hmm. more people need to know about this uh, right. family that's in Kenya. Okay, so uh, the first time, what was the first event, the biking, the first biking event that you ever went? The first event I, uh, was uh, around in uh, 20, 2017, mm -hmm. around September. It was a road race organized by the Road Warriors. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so it was actually, um, I think uh, it was a track running from Academia all the way to uh, near Kimbo. Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, it, it was actually, wow, the speed, I mean, the speed is so amazing. And the sound of the mm. bikes. Can you the handle the, the speed bikes. yourself? Because personally, um, you can't. Actually, actually, it's advised uh -huh. that you, s you should start on a smaller bike, uh -huh. like from a 100cc mm -hmm. to around a 300cc motorcycle, mm -hmm. so that you are able to understand and have a feel of what speed is like on mm -hmm. two wheels. Mm -hmm. And yeah, because it's, 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 it's handling a machine, it's something else. Mm -hmm. You can handle yourself on a, mot on a bicycle, because mm -hmm. it's lighter, so you just have to handle your weight. Mm -hmm. But on a motorcycle, it's a machine. Mm -hmm. There's an in engine under you, uh -huh. and uh, you need to know how to control it. Uh -huh. Then you can advance to 600cc motorcycles, uh -huh. to 1,000, up to 1,300, 1,400cc motorcycles. Seems to be very prepared for your bike, I can see. Yes, it's gonna I'm come very, <laughs> <laughs> very prepared. All right, so yeah. uh, when people think motorsport, when people think biking, uh, they think um, it's for the rich people. That is the stereotype. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not a sport for, for the sufferers like us. Mm -hmm. uh, wh what would you say about this? Do we need money to enjoy motorsports? 
of course you need money uh -huh. but uh, some money is still good uh -huh. because um uh, there, 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 there are motorcycles that are um, going up to 100,000 uh -huh. um brand new but sana sana is mostly the they do this the boda boda kawaida uh -huh. motorcycles and uh but I, i'm sure it, it takes dedication uh -huh. um time uh -huh. patience um for you to really want to um get into that um family because mm -hmm. it's 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 more of a passion mm -hmm. like uh, i know of a rider who says um he's a doctor by profession and a rider by passion <laughs> so yeah it, right. it, it, so it it's takes a passion a, for exactly. so many people yes all right you are in uh, journalism school yes and uh you've seen what uh, publicity has done to different sports different kinds of sports. We've seen how big the Premier League is mm -hmm. uh, across the world. Mm -hmm. uh, this is because uh, of publicity. Exactly. Uh, so uh, what do you think is the role of journalism students like you or journalists in this country in uh, growing the sports industry in this country? Um, I, one thing I think which I think most journalism schools teach uh -huh. is that you should research uh -huh. and you should get, go out there, get a story that's uh -huh. worth uh, watching or listening to uh -huh. so for me for me um actually my youtube channel came as a result of a school project mm -hmm. um from a video production class we were told do go do a go out do a documentary of about anything you mm -hmm. want so it was a 30 minute documentary mm -hmm. so i think um f how that channel uh, the project did is mm -hmm. has really um come to my realization that really the media or media houses that are out there should come and see the sports um the, the various sports that are out there mm -hmm. because um i can tell you in kenya mm -hmm. they are very talented uh, motorcycle racers mm -hmm. like we have a track in the river mm -hmm. uh it's called whistling morans mm -hmm. and the riders that are there who go to race or even uh the road races that mm -hmm. are there in roiro mm -hmm. by road warriors and uh super bike association of kenya mm -hmm. um they went, uh, some of the riders went to South Africa. Uh -huh. I can tell you some of the riders went to South Africa. It was around uh, November mm -hmm. and they scooped seven trophies. Mm -hmm. You can imagine, they conquered a foreign land. Mm -hmm. Kenyans conquered a foreign seven land. Seven trophies? Yes. Without any form of formal training? They, they do train, uh -huh. they have train, uh, they are qualified trainers mm -hmm. in Kenya. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah, through that through that platform, the events that are there, mm -hmm. they have been able to put the word out there, reached out to South Africans mm -hmm. who are there, and uh, they went to Red ra ra Raceway mm -hmm. track that's in, uh, I, th I think it's in Joburg, mm -hmm. and uh, they won and they came back with seven trophies, mm -hmm. and uh, I think people should know ab about this. All right. Yeah. So it's the role of the media to highlight these stories. Exactly. All right. So do you think the growth of the sports industry uh, in Kenya is directly tied to, to, to the media, mainstream and uh, social? Definitely. Mm -hmm. Because the work of the media is to inform other mm -hmm. than to entertain. All right. Yes. So the, the sports can only grow if the media uh, come into it as well. Yeah, they they need to put the the word out there. Mm -hmm. You can see what happened with the Kenya Morans, the basketball team, uh -huh. and uh, yeah, also like the volleyball team. If their stories are put out there, uh -huh. yeah, e e people like investors will find uh -huh. the time. Uh -huh. They will definitely find the time. Right. If, the, if if the sport has fan base uh -huh. and people can actually pay to go to those events. Uh -huh then definitely the investors can come. The reason I ask is because uh, I'd like to know your vision with this uh, YouTube channel and uh, the, the vision with this kind of content that you're creating because it's not the most popular uh, type of content Kenyans are going to look for on exactly. YouTube. So what is the what is the vision with it? Um, uh, the, uh, my, my, my vision for the channel is just true. It's just about the motorcycle. It's, mm -hmm. it's not just about um, the motorcycle racing mm -hmm. it's all, as the channel the title of the channel is life on a motorcycle mm -hmm. so it's just about mostly about knowing the the riders that are out there mm -hmm. you know you know it's not it's not the kawaida buddha buddha guys that mm -hmm. are there who do not wear who do not wear the proper gear uh -huh. for example i have a t-shirt here that i printed um, last year uh -huh. it's 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 written always wear protection uh -huh. with the helmet uh, on it. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So it's just. It, it's what, what it was that meant to mean what, what, what it says? Exactly Actually, that. Exactly that. All right, always right. wear protection uh -huh. because um, ri many riders, um, it, it, not, it, 
motorcycle riders lose uh -huh. their lives uh -huh. from this. Uh, even in different counties, mm -hmm. you hear of a hospital that has a dedicated word for just Buddha Buddha uh -huh. injuries. Accidents. Uh, yeah. So these are some of the things you're trying. As much as you you're highlighting this spot, you're also trying to advocate for safety. To advocate for safety. Yes. All right. All right. I feel that that is really amazing what you're doing right there. Yeah. Please remind them how they can find you on social media as we line some of the video content uh, content that you've created uh, of this spot. Your camera is number four. Um, okay. So um, you can follow me on social media on, on Instagram, Ashi underscore Ian. That's A S H Y underscore Ian. And on Facebook, you can follow me at Ian Ashi. So, yeah. And uh, if you're watching this, something is about to go down. Something is about to go down. Exactly. Do you have any dates for us? Or um, should we mark dates on our calendars? So, uh, I, I think there's a, there's a calendar um, of events that has been released by mm -hmm. the Superbike Association, mm -hmm. um, Ren, uh, who have tournaments, the ESBC, so mm -hmm. different riders who majorly race on tracks, mm -hmm. on, on the track, for example. Right now, they are, they are doing the races in uh, Whistling Morans, that's in Ati River. Mm -hmm. So I think the next event is in uh, March. The next event is March. in March. The, is it talk sometime of around event. Easter? Not really, it's uh -huh. around 7th. Around 7th March. Yes, uh, but there's also another event probably in February. All right. Yeah. So well, I'd like to know, uh, what is the speed limit for bikes? Okay, we definitely on a normal day on, on a normal day because I see some of these super bikers are very notorious. Um, uh, now you see them, <laughs> now you don't. Now you can hear them, now you can't hear them. Uh -huh. Yeah, I um, I I think most riders will average probably a hundred kbh. Uh -huh. Yeah, but uh, of course they need to do this safely uh -huh. um, on 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 clear roads mm -hmm. and yeah, but they do follow the rules. They do follow the rules. Uh, <laughs> yeah, can I can tell you them. that they are they are they are, they are low abiding uh, riders out there. They are low abiding because some of these bikes really go fast uh -huh. up to. 300 kph mm -hmm. so yeah but they only do this on uh, safer roads all right yes i see we have something already on our screen right there there is, is some content from your youtube channel yes. uh, w please remind them your youtube channel before we can get to see the video so my channel is life on a motorcycle mm -hmm. with ian ashi you can just type ian ashi on uh, youtube and you'll, you'll, you'll see the helmet icon there all right, so we bring you Ian Ashi's content live on TV. So get a taste of what Ian Ashi does on his YouTube channel uh, before we can carry on with this right there. This channel in 2019, Choma picture in this past vlog. Yeah. Choma Jo. Um, this new year, I would like to do things a little different. Sir. Tell us when you're ready. Sir. Okay, take two. Oh, ah, yeah. Yo guys, Superbike fans, motorsport fans, you guys, if you're watching this, something is about to go down. Down, 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 down. That book, yeah. That here, Bana. Joma Jo. Um, this new year, I would like to do things a little different. So Tell us when you're ready. You can find more on his YouTube channel at Ian Ashi. Uh, we are going to line up another video as well. But maybe you can tell me what was going on in this video right here. Um, this the, this video specifically was a preview of the events in 2019. So it was a way of uh, just uh, down Rubber. memory lane. Uh -huh. I do just going down memory lane of uh -huh. the of the different events, different people I've interacted with, uh -huh. the different riders, um, even the friends that I come along with uh -huh. uh, to those events, yeah, and they, uh, my friends really enjoy, All they right. really enjoy these events. I feel that being someone who's interacted with guys in this industry, guys in this sport, what are some of the challenges they'll tell you they uh, they face as as bikers in Nairobi in Kenya? Um, okay, uh, mostly it's about um, it's about the road safety, and s some riders are not are not um, they are not uh, observant. They are not keen on the roads. They don't know um, that a rider is coming through. So that's why actually you'll find um, the the loud exhausts that are there. 
with the bikes and so that people know that they are passing by all right. yeah some exactly yeah, some of them all right <laughs> but uh, so, some challenges that they face as bikers uh, in this because this is not a, this is not a, a textbook sport mm -hmm. it's not a sport that people are used to uh, in this country so what are some of the challenges they tell you they face the, the races yeah. um i think um, mostly it's about um resource so some of these riders um, really have to put in a lot of money um, when they go for some of these races. Uh, I spoke to one of the riders and uh, he told me that he put um, about over, over 100,000 just before the race um, for the, to get the bike ready for the race because you'll find some of these riders are uh, they don't race because of uh, because of many of the fans and also the track um, a normal a normal track um, circuit goes for more than four kilometers but in kenya right now for example this is whistling whistling moran's track um it goes for around le uh, slightly more than one kilometer so you find that um um they don't really want they, they can't really push the way they would like to as the yeah uh, and the costs that come with racing is also another problem. Exactly. So sponsorship is, is is key. They need some sponsorship for sure. Uh, that they'll tell you. And uh, infrastructure. The infrastructure is also another important thing that needs to be looked into. Yes. All right, wonderful. And uh, what is uh, one thing you can say the motorsport or the, the, the bikers ca ca can improve on themselves? Mm -hmm. as, as an observer, as somebody who's not biking yet. Okay, uh -huh. um, I think I think some of the bikers really need to know how mm -hmm. to, you know, limit the exhaust pipes. <laughs> the, the exhaust. Because yeah, actually, uh -huh. um, the guy the guy who did who who, who features in my intros uh -huh. for the channel, um, he he rides a Kawasaki Ninja 250 250R. Uh -huh. uh -huh. It's a 250 cc bike, but he put a loud exhaust. Uh -huh. Alphonse, I'm so sorry. Uh -huh. um, but it used to be loud, like uh -huh. even. Yeah, but it's, it's okay. But the presence is very important. Yeah, right? the presence is very important, uh -huh. especially uh -huh. when it comes to the road. Uh -huh. it, 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 uh, and I'd like people to understand those guys in the estates. Uh -huh. Sometimes the, li the loud exhausts come uh -huh. in handy on the road. Uh -huh. It may not come, it may, it may not be pleasing to the ear in the house, uh -huh. but on the road, it's uh -huh. very important for the rider. All right, how important though? Please expound. Um, as I told you, um, so that people know you're coming. Exactly. <laughs> and they don't have to be hit because actually I can tell you there is uh, one rider we lost. Uh -huh. um, because... Um, May you rest in peace, man. Yeah, it's rest in peace, Hago. And it's... And all because it's, 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 it's quite um, sad uh -huh. that up to now... Some of these things are avoidable. Th they are avoidable, mm -hmm. but still there are reckless riders out there. All right, we are running out of time, but uh, I like what you're doing about uh, promoting road safety when it comes to biking and the fact that you're trying to highlight this particular spot that is not so popular in this country, uh, but you're trying to, uh, to vouch for it and push it uh, to the max. Uh, before you leave, I'd like you to answer one question that we have on Facebook, mm -hmm. uh, which is, do you, shop, do you prefer shopping at a, at a mall or at the local duka in your, in your, in your store? Um... I'd say it depends. It depends with what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. The things you'll you'll find in the mall, mm -hmm. and others you're going to find um, in your local duka. All right. So yeah. it's all. Uh, uh, it's all. Uh, it's a case of it depends for you. Even when it comes to motorcycle parts, uh -huh. some people prefer going to the physical shop uh -huh. so that they see the the the, the good the, the the goods for themselves, uh -huh. or they even shop online. All right. Like on eBay somewhere else so as for you area. something that suits the need that you have at that particular moment exactly is what you'll go for you can't go buy your b normal breakfast in a mall all right wrap this up for me tell them uh, your social media handles how they can find you and how they can find more content from you so mm -hmm. first of all i'd like to thank the riders that are there um thank you for supporting me those guys who follow me on social media mm -hmm. thank you for putting the word out there Thank you for sharing um, the experience of, of, of the different traders that we have. I can tell you more things coming for 2020. I call it a project 2020. And uh, yeah, for more, follow me on Instagram, Ashi underscore Ian, that's A-S-H-Y, with the underscore Ian, and on Facebook, Ian Ashi. Something 
is about to go down. Something is about to go down for yeah. sure uh, on Ian's YouTube channel on uh, and for the bikers. And something is about to go down on White 54 as well. So we'll take a short break. Then we'll be back with some more of Why in the Morning. Don't go nowhere. Don't touch that down.